Welcome to Mac Graphics. In this video, we are going to draw this abstract background design. Okay, let's start drawing it. First of all, make sure that the Smart Guides option is on. Now pick Rectangle tool and draw an artboard size rectangle. Keep the stroke size to none and change the fill color to black. Come to the Layers panel, lock this layer and name it BG. BG for background. Click here to create a new layer and name it design. Now zoom out a bit, pick ellipse tool, click approximately here, enter 100 for width and the height. Change the fill color to white and keep the stroke to none. Double click on black arrow tool to open the move dialog box. Enter 0 for horizontal value and 150 for the vertical and click copy. This new copy is selected. Now press Ctrl D to create a duplicate of it. Create total 13 copies. Now select all these shapes. Double click on black arrow tool to open the move dialog box. Here enter 1850 for horizontal value, 0 for vertical value and press copy. This new copy is selected. Double click on this scale tool here and enter 25% as uniform value. Again pick black arrow tool, select all these shapes and press Ctrl G to make a group of these shapes. Similarly, select these shapes and make a group of them by pressing Ctrl G. Now pick this blend tool, click once on this topmost circle and then click on this topmost circle to make a blend. Double click on this blend tool button to open its dialog box. Open specified steps and enter 14 here. With this selected, come to the object menu, blend and choose expand. Keep it selected. Double click here on the rotate button and enter 25 degrees here. Keep it selected, come to the effect menu, warp and pick flag. Set the shape to be horizontal, bend value to minus 33%, horizontal value to minus 100% and vertical value to 31%. Keep it selected, come to object menu and choose expand appearance. With this selected, Come to the gradient panel, click here to apply this default black and white gradient to it. Click here on this slider and set its location to 75%. Double click here on this color slider and here in the swatches pick this rich black color for it. Now click here on gradient tool and drag a slider from approximately this position to here. Now with this selected, come to the effect menu, stylize and pick inner glow, set the mode to multiply, double click here to open the color picker box, here enter 127 for R, G and B values. Set the opacity to 75%, blur to 4 and press OK. Ok now, for the final step, pick rectangle tool, draw an artboard sized rectangle, press Ctrl A to select all the shapes, come to the object menu, clipping mask and choose make. And here we are, the design is ready. Hit like and share if you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching Nag Graphics.